What's up Jeep people? Welcome back to Jeep TV. Today we're going to be working on Southern Comfort and getting on some Poison Spider Rock Armor. Alright, so this is everything you're going to need to make this installation happen. You've got your driver and passenger side skids. You have your uh, B pillar skids that actually goes in between the door jams. I haven't seen a lot of people run those, so I'm going to go ahead and throw those on. You've got your um, your nuts and bolts. You have your Loctite. You have your center punch drill. You're going to need a 25 64 bit, a quarter inch drill bit. You're going to need a, what is this, a 5 and 30 seconds Allen wrench, um, 13 millimeter to get off your existing rock sliders or whatever you're running right now currently on your Jeep. You know, masking tape, and you're going to need your nut insert. This does come with a nut insert tool that you can use. Um, I'm actually going to use the Smitty Built tool, but this should take care of everything you should need to get this installed. Let's go ahead and get our rock sliders off, so that way we can go ahead and fit up our uh, poison spider armor. Right, first off, you want to take off all of these 10 millimeter nuts for your Rubicon sliders or any other sliders you have installed. Once you get all these nuts off, you will want to get the 13 millimeter that I've already loosened, get those off. So once we get these off, we will pull the skids off. All right, so now we have those uh, bottom ones off the 10 millimeter nuts off. Uh, there's six of them. So we're gonna go ahead and now remove the 13 millimeter bolts. It's good to have like a chair that you can get kind of low with it. I'm just going to pull it off. Just like that. A lot of dirt and ground. Alright, now that we've got our rock sliders off, let's go ahead and clean up the whole area and then we are going to tape this up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and clean up this whole underside right here. You want it to be a little bit below this door jam cuz that's where you're going to lay your uh, we're going to want to line up your metal. So you don't want to cover the color of your Jeep up. But this is more or less for protection from the metal to your Jeep. Um, you can also take this tape as well and um, put it on the back side of the uh, armor that you're going to be put on here. That's what I'm going to do as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this taped up. should be ready. Alright guys, one thing I did forget, you are going to need some clamps. So these are called, I guess, ratchet bar clamp spreader deals. I don't know. Um, they're like $3 at Harbor Freight. So that way you can clamp your um, body armor to your Jeep. So that way you can mark your holes and you don't have to have a second person. Alright, everything's taped up. Ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and open our doors and get our clamps and set this in place and pinch it down. Um, one thing that I will point out that nobody else says or shows, um, you are going to have to take apart this plastic in here. Um, there's three 
one here, two, three uh, push pins you're going to have to remove so that you can move the plastic out of the way and you can get your clamps in here. Um, I don't think we're going to have to do it to the back side, but uh, once I get this up here, we'll take a look at it. But for the most part, I'm going to get a clamp up here to hold here, and a clamp right here to hold down here. And then I'm going to have to get one over here, and I think there's enough metal that you can just grip onto right there to hold it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this by myself. Uh, we've got this all taped up. Um... Yeah, I'm going to use my knees and some clamps and get her done. What I'm going to try to do is, I'm going to try to get some of these clamps already uh, pre-set up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, open them, slide them out, and, uh, let's see. It's going to be tight. Let's see. That might. some more room in there so shove this back in here turn that around I should be able to get right there maybe maybe not and that one will be ready so they're all ready everybody's in place ready to go so the first one I'm going to try to grab I'm going to grab this one and this one and then that'll get it with this one. Right, here goes. I'm gonna go and try to get this one first. Let's see. That one, this one, there's that one, there's that one. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So um, now we've got to shift it in place. Can't really close the doors. We've definitely got to move it down some. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to get it adjusted out. I may get someone to help me, but uh, for the most part, I'm gonna try to do this by myself. Get it all adjusted out where we want it. So it needs to go over that way quite a bit. So, yeah, we'll see what it looks like after I get it adjusted. All right, guys, so we got it all mounted up. Um, I've yet to mark it, but with the directions say to mark the two ends, so it'd be this end, And this end. It says to drill these out first, mount this up, let it hang from these, tighten it down, mark all the other holes, and or leave it on there and use it as a template to drill the holes out. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do this hole. And that hole, get it mounted up on there, and um, start tapping all the other holes, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and center punch. Well, that didn't work. Oh, here we go. I'll oh, put it big up. In here. One. Ooh. And then we are going to there we go. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and drill these out with a uh a quarter inch and then we'll go behind it with the larger bit and get those mounted up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drill this back one first with the quarter inch.
Wasn't so bad. Now we're going to go to the larger drill bit size and then we will do our hole punches, inserts, and then get this hung up. Okay, so we removed the plate, it's on the floor, and we just got done drilling these holes. So you remove the plate, drill the larger holes, there, and here. So what we are going to do now is we are going to get our uh, sleeves and crimp the ends in with our tool. Um, I'll show you a little bit how to use the tool, but for the most part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna get it in and you guys are just gonna see how it's done. Okay, let me show you how the Smitty Bill or any other um, little rivet gun top deal thing works. Okay. So you've got this special little nut here. Okay, this nut is got these little crimps all the way around it, okay? So once you put this on here, you are going to open your tool and you will insert it into the body or into whatever metal you're going in through. Um, and then you are going to crunch it down. Once this crunches down, all these little bitty crimps are going to shift forward and it's going to go from like a open or closed flower to an open flower and it's going to stop on the back side of that metal or, or whatever it's on the back of whatever you're mounting this to um, these are used not just on jeeps and bodies and stuff like that they're used internationally for all types of different things purposes so what i'm telling you is um it's very simple to do. It's a very simple way to get things mounted up. Um, you can over crank it whenever you're smashing it down. Um, you may see a little bit of a dimple or a bump or divot in on the body of the Jeep. You may want to you may want to crank it back a little bit, but once you get that sweet spot and you're no longer making divots, there goes my neighbor in his big ass truck. Probably can't hear a thing I'm saying. Anyways. Once you get um, going on this, it's going to come very easily for you to, you know, bust these out. So after we do these first two, we're going to put our uh, plate back on there and we are going to screw it down in place. And then we are going to zip out all the holes with a quarter inch. Then we'll go back behind it with the uh, 25, 64, whatever bit it called for um, and knock them all out larger. We'll go behind it, rivet them all, and then once we rivet them all, we will get the plate, put it back on there, and mount the plate back up. And it will be, boom, done. Alright guys, so we got our, our first nut cert and second nut cert in. It's hanging up on its own. I don't think it really drooped any at all by undoing it. I mean, it's a little loose here. So whenever I'm going to, um, I may not put a clamp there, but I'm probably going to put a clamp back here and a clamp back here, open these doors back up, drill these holes with a clamp on it, and then undo it, you know, once I get through these. And then back here, it should be okay. It's not really moving any. But yeah, you want to be like a quarter of an inch below your uh, door. And I mean, it is close, really close. Um, there's really no way to level this off or anything because there's so many just round edges and, um, you know, it's not truly straight, straight. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but um, it's almost kind of at like a, these weird little uh, pitches. But for the most part, you know, you get this thing lined up perfectly over here on this side. And on this side, and keep a quarter inch here. Just make sure your doors open and close. There's really no wrong way to install these. 
the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the B pillar, which maybe a lot of you may want to do, maybe you not want to do, but I'm going to be different. I'm going to go ahead and do the B pillar too. So anyways, let's get the business. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drill out all these um, holes. Uh, first off, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tap them and then we're going to drill them out. So if you haven't already, get your little hole punch starter, your puncher, get it into the center. What that does is it helps start the drill bit. So once you find center, it helps the drill bit, you know, go on in right there on that point, and it doesn't wibble wobble uh, one way or the other. So it's really nice tool to have. That way, you know when you're drilling, you're drilling center where you've uh, selected. All right, so now we've got the hole punch part done. Now we can just get our drill bit, go through there, center them up, and knock them down. All right, so we've got our uh, small drill bit on here. So we want to be very careful to line up each one as center as possible. When you're done doing this job, you're going to want to sweep up, especially if you're doing a garage where you have kids and stuff, because there's a lot of sheet metal, a lot of sharp, a lot of sharp shrapnels going on the floor. All right. Now, we're going to go and clean this up, and then we are going to drill more then we'll clean again all right guys so i'm going to go ahead and do a couple of these um for you guys to kind of show you the what we got going on gonna put the you're gonna put it in you're gonna make sure it's flush come up here squeeze back it out I'll do a couple more in this area, and then we'll, we'll take a glance at them. So we go, we're going to put it on, put it in, make sure it's nice and flush, close it down, back it out. Now, like I was telling you before, I don't know if you can tell that there's a, maybe a, there's a little bit of a, a rivet or like a, a divot, not much. This one's really clean looking. Um, but what, I, what I'm trying to get at is you really don't need this thing. If you're having to really crunch down on and kill it, I've learned that it's just way too much. You're, you're, you're bending the metal and warping it. And once you take this off... You know, if you ever want to get rid of the, this plating and stuff, I mean, you really, you, you can. There is a way to get these out. Um, and then you'd have to, you know, stucco them, cap them, bond them, whatever, and then cover it up. But for the most part, if you start bending the metal everywhere, that's going to be bad. But, you know, we're not here to, you know, be super, super professional about it. But in a way, we are. We want these things to go on there properly and you know, mount up right. So these bottom ones are kind of hard. Um, you really want to make sure you get them in there at the right angle. Um, when you drill your holes, you don't want to go straight. You want to make sure you go with it because that plate, when it lays on there, that's the way you're going to drill. You're not drilling like this. You're actually going up. So make sure when you're drilling these holes, 
that uh, you go back and you, you know, you make sure you, that it, everything fits. You should be able to push this in and pull it out, make sure everything fits before we go and gung ho on it and do them all. And you know, trying to speed through this. This is a very slow process. You really don't want to rush through this. For the most part, this can be done, you know, in at least an hour per side. You know, I mean, you can get this done in like two hours, especially if you have help. So I've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, done. So I've got like 19 more to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here, bang these out. We're going to come back and put the metal on and I'll show you the final product. All right, guys, so we got them all on with very minimum damage. And what I mean by that is warping, denting, scraping, cutting, bruising, banging. Uh, the only one that I had an issue was this one right here and this one right here. Um, everything else went on pretty good. You can see a little bit of a ripple right here on that one. For the most part... That all went on pretty daggum good. Alright guys, so we've got it on here. And so we are going to go ahead and hand tighten some of these nuts down. You know, never in the history of tightening anything down do you just go from one side to the other and just hammer them all down because things shift, things move. So what we're going to do is, um, I've got one on this end, one over here. We're going to slowly just... Get them started, and we are going to make our way around until they're all installed. So, that's what I'm going to do, because if I really need to, I can, I can push up, let go. We can push and pull this thing a little bit, and there's a little bit of wiggle room. So, once we get all these in here nice and set... We'll start cranking down on them. Alright guys, I just got the B-pillar inserts put on. This one right here is a booger. It's the middle one. So you have one, two, booger. One, two, booger. There is a piece of metal right here, steel, inside here. So once you drill in, you're going to have to notch that out. I didn't notch it out enough, but still, it, it, it goes on fine. This screw is just like a hair off the actual plate. But for the most part, it looks fine. You can't even really tell a difference. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on, then we'll take a look at it, and we will be completed. All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, the only thing I can tell you um, next that you need to do is take these back off one more time go get them painted or clear coat them and then whenever you go back in with your screws for the last time you want to use your loctite that way when these go in they sit in they're not going to back out and you're going to lose them while driving down the road and it's going to prevent any bystanders to come by to try to pull them out it's going to make it a little tough for them anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was very informative uh, we did do the B-pillar. I don't know how many people are out there that have done the B-pillar. Um, it's not too hard. There is, like the, I said, the one metal column right here that you're going to have to deal with. But for the most part, easy install. Just take your time. Screw your holes. Line your uh, screw sets up. Punch them in. Adjust it. Punch it in again. Just go slow with it and everything will be fine. Thanks again. My name's Brett. Hopefully you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Peace out. Keep jeeping.